Hi everyone, Godfather Prepper, and I want to show you my latest contraption, and that is a solar-powered rototiller. And uh, if you saw my welding video on how to make a miniature welder, you'll remember that I had uh, a bunch of batteries left over and trying to figure out what to do with them. Well, I had this old tiller knocking around, gasoline. And I thought, I'd like to try to make it solar so I don't have to mess with gas and oil and pull starting and noise. And this is what I have. I've got this old two-cycle uh, rototiller. And uh, like all two-cycles, you know, it's got a limited life. But not only that, it's uh, that ethanol just kills these things. So I'm going to take a look at the possibility of turning this into a solar tiller. Don't know if it's ever been done, but uh, that's no reason it couldn't be. So uh, I'm going to take it apart and we'll see what we can get. Okay, here's where I'm at. I have uh, pulled the engine and this is the drive shaft right here, just a little square uh, spring. It's what they use. They use a long one of these on the uh, weed eaters. That's how they get the flex. It's, it's just like a spring almost. And here's my motor. I'm going to try. It's a starter motor. I save these things. Anytime I get an old junky uh, lawnmower, I pull parts off of it to save them. And here's why. These things are really handy to have. Uh, they're 12 volts. They're very high torque. You can't run them for a long time. But for my tiller, all I need to do is get in and just do a little bit of weeding, a little bit of cleanup. Okay, I've been sitting here eating peanuts trying to figure this out, and I came up with it, I think. Here's an old plate I scrounged. I don't know what it's off of, but again, there's a reason you should keep scrap. It's, uh, it's handy stuff. What I think I'm going to do is I've got to notch those out. I'm going to weld this to here, and then I'm going to weld this old scrap piece of... Uh, channel stock to that and then bolt my electric motor to the face of that and uh, it sounds really good in theory let's see what okay, happens so here it is with the motor installed it did work like I wanted it to as you can see I simply added two of my batteries that I have connected them through a starter solenoid that I got off a mower scrounged and uh, I used the existing switch on the unit and uh, it's a pretty simple setup. The connector there is just a piece of 7-8 uh, shaft that I drilled and uh, connected to the part from the rototiller. So I really had to make only one piece for the uh, for the uh, shaft, drive shaft. And uh, there's our little panel which should keep these things charged. What I've got here is a raised bed garden that I need to work some amendments in and put a little compost in. So I turned it with a shovel and that's it. So let's see if this does what it's supposed to do. Oh yeah! Look at that! Again, it's not designed to fill the lower 40, it's designed for just this. Look at that. exactly what I wanted to do.
set it out, aim it towards the south. Look at this. Took these big clods and turned them into. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. Fantastic. So I'll just leave it out here, let the sun charge it. Next time I need a tiller for just some of this small stuff, I'll have this available. And uh, for the big stuff, I'll use my gas tiller or the one that's on the back of my little Ford garden tractor. But uh, both of those are way too big to put in a raised bed. Look at this. Beautiful. It's exactly made short work of those big clods. So I'm going to say it's a success. Now the motor isn't even warm and I did two beds and I've got plenty of juice to do another one so pretty excited about this. This will be a nice little addition to the garden. Okay, we're going to work in some uh, coffee grounds and uh, that's what this thing is perfect for. This thing has been hoed and broke up but it's still got a little bit of uh, this is my daughter's garden. Look at that. And I've been using this, I've used it several times today, and it's holding up just fine. Now, look at this. Look at that. Okay, now this bed has been raked, but not broken up, so we're going to see what happens. Not bad. It's a bit slow. Yeah, and it's also, it's, you know, it's not as deep as it should be, but, like I said, if you take a shovel, there you go, how's that? That's good. Now, if you take a shovel and just make, turn... Turn your soil. I think it would work. Leave it outside tomorrow, let it charge back up. Yeah, Look at this. There you go. This mm -hmm. little tiller will save a lot of uh, a lot of time digging. And it's light enough that I can just set it inside these raised bed gardens and uh, get them all prepped. So thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.